bought a mango from the store and you want to grow it. So as you can guess, you're going to cut it open and eat it. So after you eat the mango, grab the seed inside, get a spoon, try not to make it such a sharp object, but find one of the edges on the seed and then you're gonna keep on twisting it so that you can open it and you'll find the real side inside of there. Mango seeds like never come out good, so we had a few mangoes and I tried one of my brother's ones. So one seed came out good, I recommend you get a few mangoes. After you get your seed, grab yourself a napkin, Ziploc bag, spray bottle, take your napkin and seed, and then you fold your seed inside. Then get your spray bottle and spray it a few times. Then you can get your Ziploc bag and put it inside. After you get your seed in the bag, put it in a dark, warm place for a week. It has now been a week, so we're going to take it out. Okay, so after you get yours out, you might want yours a little bit bigger than mine, but for some reason mine didn't grow fast, like, for a week. People usually get a little bit bigger, but it, it's okay, I can still bury it. But when you're burying it, just like this, with the little stem part facing up, you can put it in there. Here we go. Make sure all of it's under that dirt. Here we go. And, alright. Just make sure that this little stem part is facing out and you're good. Now here's how to maintain it. So you may understand that it is a tropical plant that's very juicy and think that they love waterlogged soils, but they actually only like to maintain a little bit of moisture and then you don't water it again until the soil dries up. So I'm just gonna give it like 10 sprays to get the surface wet. I'm gonna leave it until it dries and I'm gonna do that again. And as it gets older, I can use more water to maintain its health. So I, I did 15 sprays, not 10, but that's just about it, as much as it's gonna need for a while, and we'll come back in a few days and see how it's doing. So to let you guys know, I've actually tried 12 mango seeds and I have this really common disease I'm trying to get rid of. So I'm making this video so that if I grew more, I can look back and help myself out with this as well as if you guys look at this video, instead of having to go on the internet and search up what this problem is, you can help yourself with it. And what this problem is here, let me go and get to it. All right, so I plant my mango seed and I believe it's because I have too much moisture during the process of the paper towel part but it looks fine from right here yeah but look if we go to the root right here it keeps turning black and this right here it can't grow or absorb any more moisture and this is a really big issue so i'm going to keep on looking at this and trying different seeds to kind of fix this Try 13, I got a seed and I let it get a lot bigger, so this probably is going to do a lot better. But instead of misting a, um, the soil, I'm going to, I watered it normally. I pre-watered it to let it dry a little bit so that I, I don't know if this is the sprout or the root, but the roots need oxygen. So I let it like air out a little bit, but I'm going to plant it flat like this this time and I'm going to see if it works out better. All right, and I will check soon and we'll see if this works better sooner or later. So the first part of the problem of why the roots turn black is supposedly that it dries out. So this time I completely submerged it in the wet soil. All right, after 13 tries, I figured this out. So here's what it looks like. Look at this. It's already like three inches, All right? And the reason it's a bit Red is because when new leaves come in, they don't have chlorophyll. So it's gonna be red until they fully grow and mature. All right, so here's what it is that you need to do. During the paper tissue part, what you need to do is make sure that there's a pretty good amount of moisture in it because I thought that being that my roots were turning black that there might have been a disease, but that is not the case. It's simply because the roots were drying out. So whenever you transplant it in the soil, that's another reason why it kept on dying. Mine died mostly in the soil more frequently than the tissue. So what you need to do is whenever it's almost dry 
or whenever you're simply just putting the plant inside, make sure that you water it with a bottle or anything like that instead of spraying it, and then you're all good. If you enjoyed this video and you want some updates, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. One more thing before I go. If there's something you want to see me do next time, you can comment it down below, as well as now I will be going for real this time. See you soon.